In um, Vedic astrology, there's a wealth point that's calculated using the sun and the moon. And there are some complex calculations, but I'm going to use the sun and the moon card in cardology to calculate the point of wealth. And I'm using Rihanna as the subject, right? Five of diamonds. Diamonds here. So for the five of diamonds, the sun card would be the five of diamonds and the moon card would be the eight of hearts. That is her moon card. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is calculate the midpoint between the five of diamonds right here and the eight of hearts right here, right? And we get the king of diamonds. So this is her like really, really, well, this is a great wealth card to have. Obviously, that's why she's a billionaire. But this is her wealth card. Um, this is her highlight um, moments. Now, the King of Diamonds is not just about money and the mastery of business, but it also involves music as well. A lot of musical, it's very creative. It has the Three of Clubs, a very strong uh, Three of Clubs, which is the Karma card. So it's extremely creative, great pro in, in production of music and compositions and stuff like that. Music that the people like, right? So she, she has like that, and she also has business bundled up in this. So, the next thing that we want to do is we want to go look at Rihanna's spread to see um, where that King of Diamonds shows up, especially during the period where she really got, like, her success and fame, which is, like, early in life, right? Like, she was, like, a, around 16 when she started. So, I like to look at the seven-year spread so I can get, like, a whole overview so that would be her third seven-year cycle, which is like her, actually like her Mars cycle, right? Age 14 to 20. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so uh, I click on the seven years. <laughs> Excuse me again. And I find her five of diamonds um, here. And I click on five of diamonds and it reveals to me her seven year cycle for her seven year cards. Right. So her Mercury card would be age 14 and then her Venus card would be 15. Then we got 16. She started with the Jack of Clubs, then 17, 18, 19. So when we the reason why I'm counting up like that is because here is that card that I was talking about. It, the King of Diamonds. The King of Diamonds is like her midpoint wealth, success, fame, all of that card, right? And it happened to be her Uranus card, that seven-year cycle. So Uranus doesn't just deal with the now, it deals with the future. So this says that if she ap applies the principles of the King of Diamonds during this time, then she's really setting the stage for this success now and success in the future, right? It would, of course, be really, really highlighted at age 19. So let's go look and see what was going on with her at age 19 so that, um, you know, we could kind of figure out if there was anything significant. Well, I looked at a timeline of her years and it was at age 19, which is like 2008, that she got her first Grammy, right? So that is definitely a peak King of Diamonds kind of moment. That's a King moment, you know, being recognized for your work and your business or, you know, your creativity. Because remember, the king in diamonds is also, is not just the master of money, it's also the master of creativity.